Last summer was weirdly busy despite lockdown. I ended up releasing two records, um, a solo one called Golden Veins and one with my band LYR called Call in the Crash Team. And it was so exciting to have that as a focus, to be able to put my mind on releasing music and all the stuff that goes with that. But afterwards, I don't know, it felt like a bit of an anti-climax. We weren't able to tour. You couldn't meet people and talk about the records in real life. And it left me in this weird, creative, musical lull. I didn't really want to write. I didn't want to play anything. But I did want to listen to music. And I found the albums I was really drawn to last summer were things like Nick Drake, John Martin, records that when I was first learning guitar and writing songs, I completely fell in love with. And they feel very, very much like comfort food. They're comfort music for me. And I decided I wanted to write something stripped back, and quite raw and open. So I went down to the studio and it was the hottest week of the, the year. And um, I decided to just spend five days writing. So I had these songs and I decided, even though I demoed them at home, I didn't really want to record them at home. I wanted some outside influence. So I phoned up my friend Pat, Patrick Pearson, and he's down in Devon, so he speaks like that. What's on? So I phoned him and I said, Pat, I've got these, these four songs. Do you mind if I come down to the studio in Devon and record them with you? And he said, he doesn't really talk like this, but it's more fun. Get yourself on the train. Get yourself down to Devon. Let's make a record. So the next week I got on the train and it was the first time I'd really left where I lived for ages. And it's uh, like a three and a half, four hour train journey. And uh, at one point the line goes over a stretch of water and it feels like the train is actually on the water. And it always reminds me of that film, Spirited Away. And it's kind of like you're going into a magical black hole or something, which I guess is what Devon's like and what that studio is like. So I arrived and we tried to do as much as we could live to tape. And we just had a really good time. We drank wine and we recorded the songs. And I felt really excited about music again. And that's the EP. And that comes out this week. It's called Devon or Las Vegas.